G'day Marvel Future Fight Gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I was going to do a nice simple video, I was going to have a look at uh, Crescent in Alliance Battle Extreme. I did a video recording earlier this week to give you guys a couple of tips uh, on rotation and getting procs to activate and that sort of thing. Uh, but Marvel Future Fight have just dropped uh, sneak peek number one uh, for V630. Uh, the update should be released around about July, the 1st of July, I reckon, uh, based on the information I have, uh, Star Agent-wise. So, yeah, let's let's jump into this. So, we've got a few things to do in this video. Let's check out the sneak peek. Uh, going to tell you guys how to go into the draw to win, uh, you know, have a chance to win 300 crystals uh, through a voucher. And we're going to get onto a, a Crescent uh, Alliance Battle Extreme. So... Guys, let's jump into the sneak peek and have a quick look at that. Um, I'll put the sneak peek text up right now and uh, then jump into the video. And just going to play that one more time. And if we freeze frame right there, we can kind of see a red face. Looks like She-Hulk or someone similar to that in the background. So, guys, looks like we're getting a Hulk update. Which, tell you what, we're long overdue for. Like, super overdue for a Hulk update. And I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with the thought of uh, the big unit, the big green unit powering up. Maybe getting a tier 3. Uh, maybe not. Marble always throws these surprises in with a tier 3. I couldn't, would not have picked Star-Lord at last tier 3. I very, very rarely pick who the actual tier 3s are going to be uh, in, in the updates. But it looks like the Hulk theme is uh, based around uh, Immortal Hulk. Uh, so I've seen a couple of photos in chats. I'll stick one up in, on screen here at the moment. So if we look at that cover there of the Immortal Hulk, uh, we can see a green heart in one of those jars. You can see hands, heads all that sort of stuff. Pretty damn similar to what we just saw in the sneak peek, I reckon. So kudos to whoever uh, identified that. Uh, so it looks like it is going to be an update potentially themed around the Immortal Hulk, which will be great. Will be absolutely awesome. Um, what that kind of means to from a character point of view, well, I think it opens up a lot of avenues uh, for, new, for new characters and uniforms for old characters. Uh, for example, Absorbing Man, uh, Cho Hulk, uh, Red Hulk, um, She Hulk, Titania. Uh, so I had a quick look on uh, Comic Vine and just run through the list of units uh, that are kind of related to the Immortal Hulk series. We'll run through them now. So on the website, what they've done is actually listed the number of appearances uh, by each character through the Immortal Hulk um, series. So we've got Hulk, obviously, 33 times, uh, Jackie McGee, 22 times. Uh, Betty Ross, um, the love of Bruce Banner's life, uh, 16 times. Dr. McGowan, uh, 16 times. Rick Jones, 14 times. Doc Sampson, uh, Gamma Irradiated Friend. Uh, Puck, 13. General, 14. Um, one of the biggest threats to Red Hulk. Uh, Sasquatch, who looks like a pretty cool unit. Absorbing Man, we can see Absorbing Man there with a different look. Uh, one below all, uh, the uh, opposite to the one above all. Minotaur, Iron Man, Titania with a, certainly a different look. Uh, Bushwhacker, certainly sounds pretty uh, Aussie, Bushwhacker. Carol Danvers again. Uh, Zemnu, Brian Banner, uh, Del Fire, uh, Thunderbolt Ross uh, as Red Hulk. Uh, Amadeus Cho, who we have in game at the moment. Dr. Clive, hopefully not another Captain America uniform. She-Hulk only two times. And then we get back down into Black Panther, Thor, uh, Metatron, which sounds like Megatron, uh, and Ghost Rider Robbie Ray. So there's a bunch of units who could actually come into uh, this update. And that is, if, we're, if we got the assumption right that this is an Immortal Hulk update. So guys, uh, to go into the draw to win one of uh, 20 crystal vouchers uh, worth 300 crystals each, 
let me know. Who are you most interested in seeing in this update? What would you like to see out of this update? I mean, is it just as simple as we want Tier 3 Hulk after all? Um, or, you know, do you guys want to sort of add some complexity to it? Are you interested in seeing different characters come through uh, through this update, through the Immortal Hulk update? What do you think about in general? Comment below uh, with your line ID or email address and you can go into the chance to win one of the vouchers. All right, guys, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head into uh, Alliance Battle Extreme Mode and take a look at Crescent, the little powerhouse. Alright guys, so I'm probably a bit late to the Crescent party. I've stuck with Minerva, I feel like, for maybe a little bit too long. Here's the stats of uh, Crescent in team with She-Hulk League. Looking at uh, crit damage here of 194%, so just under, but that's no big deal because she actually picks that up from her fifth skill. Um, so no dramas there at all. We'll have a quick look at her gear. I've got six Odin's Blessings to try and get her stats uh, as maxed as possible. Is that six? No, five, I think. Five Odin's Blessings. Uh, we're going to run through her skill set here. And look, her skills really do suffer from a lack of hits. Um, second skill has damage accumulation uh, based on getting hit uh, with only a four second window, which really does suck. It does give her a HP recovery though, which is nice for survivability. Uh, she has fracture on her third skill. Her fourth skill uh, has a HP recovery again. Uh, guards against six hits. She doesn't get hit by the beast. She doesn't take any damage at all. And the fifth skill is where it's all at to a degree. Uh, we've got plenty of self buffs there. Uh, we've got a penetration, um, and we've also got attack and crit buffs. We've got Power of Angry Hulk ISO set on her. Overdrive would work well if you're high on attack speed, um, or if you're high on ignore defense, then equally Hawk's Eye would, that would work also. Uh, gear, obviously we've got a CTP of Rage. Uniform, I've got a Mythic. I've got the uniform options pretty high. Um, she has nice uniform options for me anyway because I had these uniforms. Um, Star Lord is probably the one that I struggle with the most. I didn't have that actual uniform. So that's what she, that's her setup. She's, she's set up pretty nicely. Um, to give you guys an idea, with Minerva I was scoring around about 2.65 million with say one... Alright guys, let's get into it. So the rotation we're going to be using throughout this run is 3 cancel 2, cancel 4, cancel 5. Um, we're going to cancel the 4 when she does the punch. Uh, we're going to let the 5th skill run a little bit on the first section of the rotation. Then the second section, section of the rotation is 3 cancel 2, cancel 1, cancel 4, cancel 5. Now the timings of the skill cancelling is super important uh, to ensure that we actually get the proc where we want it to, which is on the tier 3 skill and also the 5th skill. Okay, so that was actually a pretty decent rotation. So we're going to just go through it a bit slowly here. So three cancel two, cancel four, wait for her to punch the beast. When we, then we're going to cancel in the fifth skill. We're going to let the fifth skill run on this very first section of the rotation. Now this second part of the rotation, we're going to freeze here. This is the most important from a timing point of view. So we're going to do three cancel, two cancel, one cancel, four punch, five. Now there's a temptation to instant cancel the five, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to let it run for around about half a second and then cancel into two skill and tier three. And it aligns the proc just by letting it run just that little bit further, uh, the fifth skill and the second skill, so just before the tier three, the so this one, let that run a little bit, and the two skill before we hit the tier three, just let it run, and it's gonna help align the proc throughout the run. All right, guys, that's it. That's my tips and hints. Uh, she takes a bit of practice. She's definitely worthwhile uh, using. Uh, increase in score around about, I don't know, I think, I don't know, probably three to 400,000, I reckon with equivalent builds, it's probably that much actually, once you get used to using her. This is a nice run uh, where I had some nice proc alignment throughout uh, and was my top score. Um, so that fifth skill, a little bit, then second skill, just a little bit until we're sure we get the proc on the tier three. All right, guys, thanks.